Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jennifer. Today I have some of the items, um, or the first order from the Tonic Studios, the vault <laughs> opening. So that's their version of, not really a warehouse sale, but the vault is the older, not older, I mean, some are new, but uh, the Tonic Craft Kits that you might have missed out on, Designer's Choice, the magazines. So this year, rather than do it all at once, they had some each day. So the first day was the previous craft kits and you could get them at a deal so this is the first one this was number 45 I jotted down so I wouldn't forget which was which um, and just to give you an idea I ended up paying $13.50 for this kit which normally would be at least $33 $39 depending if you buy it once or you're signed up or you're buying it quarterly there's different deals that way but $13.50. So let's, I'm just going to show you real quick and what I made because a lot of you will already have this. So um, they're kind of jumbled around a bit here. Let me just turn this sideways because, of course, I've been already playing with it. And this one was called the um, was it Serendipity, Serendipity Purse. I'm trying to think. I probably should have written down the names correctly. Serendipitous Purse Box. Wow, that's a mouthful. So you get... All kinds of little cutie stuff. So you have two different styles of the, um, here, let me just show you. Here's what it comes out to look like. There's my little sample. But you get two different styles to put on your box. Uh, you cut this piece twice. It's, I mean, it's really, it is really quick and easy to get it done. They have little stamps in there to do if you want um, for on like the little tags and the outline. So you have insets for the little inside, which I put just best wishes on mine. These are for the side panels. And then, so you can see here, thank you, love, best wishes, lots of love. So you have the option of dies or the stamps for that. So it's really cute. They also included in this one, one of the tonic pens. I have one from one of the other kits. Love it. <laughs> then some of the kits will come with the binders. So if you look at your stamps and dies, come in this, you have your little sticker you can put on the front so you know which one everything is. And be, they seem to be using names more than numbers. I have gotten used to the numbers, but yeah, the names make it, you know, make more sense. So you just hook those all in there and it can hold a bunch of them. Those come like every third month, fourth month, something like that. It also came with a beautiful glitter marker pressed peony <clears throat> it comes with now they have a different again um i like this better it's like a hard like a folder and it's got gorgeous gorgeous papers in there for you to use some of the handmade ones um i use just plain white and i didn't use look at that i don't know if you can see the texture on it. isn't that gorgeous this one it's cobalt blue oh my god i like i'm in love with this color and i'm not always a blue girl but so all of this and then you still have here we got um the mica mist and one of the blues it come they all come with different little things some of the different drops then we have some sequins here one of the full-size pens and i'm thinking this is glimmer so is that the embossing powder i'm trying to see I, I don't have my glasses on. Uh, it looks like glimmer. I don't think that's in. Is that the embossing powder? You have a glimmer. For some reason, I'm thinking perhaps not. I think it might be the paste. Either way, so all this came in there and it made the little box, which goes together really quickly. I have the tag. I don't quite have this all the way tied on right now. The tag part. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Because I want to reopen it, I'm putting a gift card and some little chocolates in there for my girlfriend whose birthday it is on um, Saturday. So I just thought, isn't that adorable? So if you has little, it has little tabs that you can seal it all the way and just only the top, if you can see on the back here, will open. Or like me, I only glue it to here. Um, and that way the whole, you know, opens straight up like that. Okay, so it's cute. It is four inches by the main compartment is just three and an eighth. And I just thought that was adorable. Again, $13.50. Next one, oh, 48. Okay, so this is one that was 
actually, this is uh, last fall, I'm thinking, and this one cost $18. So this was just a little bit more. This one happened to come with another of the little um, binders. So you can see, you know, it's ever, ever, every so many. I'll put my teeth back in. Harvest Moon of Affections. So let me just put the little things. And just all of them come so it'll tell you what's supposed to be in there and some little examples of it. So to me, these look like, you know, like a box of chocolates. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what it was supposed to be, but that's what I, my takeaway. I didn't do a sample of this one because it's a lot more of just little pieces, but you can make these separate. Okay, so you can see, let's see, maybe that's a little easier. You can do these separately. Look at all the cool little shapes and the little insides on there. And here we go. Again, all your different sweet little moments, hugs and kisses, you make me smile, time to celebrate, all kinds of little cute um, sentiments on that. Really cute sentiments. And here we go. So it's all one big piece, just so you can see that unless you're using these smaller ones. And again, the different like little like toppings you'd see on your chocolate. So isn't it cute? And it's, it's let's see, six and a half by just over four and a half. So really great size. I'm just gonna set that there. And then just to show you, Golden Honey, um, the glitter pen we've got in this one. Here we go. You have some of the beautiful, look at these colors for fall. Oh, just gorgeous. And again, I didn't want to, these I will definitely use. I wish, oh, look at that. Wow. It's like a, not really rose gold, but gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Ew, so pretty. These are just beautiful. If I could get a set, like a whole pad, a big stack of this color, I would definitely do that. I think I'm going to have to look it up on the back of the sheet here what these colors are because it'll tell me and go buy a bunch of them so double-sided paper here i'll give you a closer look if you can see the patterns really 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 cute for fall and the goodie bag inside so right off the bat this looks like a full-size glacier paste i mean it is like a champagne color oh my gosh is it pretty i don't know how well it's going to show through there i'm not going to take it out to like Put it into storage since i'm kind of dumping things around you've got in one of the little hybrid ink cubes isn't it cute rumba red um let's see crystal drops very pretty it's like a creamy what is it malted milk yep it looks like vanilla which i'm guessing is to drizzle on top of your chocolates tell me that's not gonna look like white icing fantastic we've got even oh look at that some ribbon We've got another little embossing powder in this. It's actually like a really pretty little red in there, if you can see it. Okay, and then we have these, which are actually little leaves. And I just bought a bigger bottle at Hobby Lobby um, with leaves in them. But isn't that cute? And look at the, oh my gosh, so pretty. And this will go with, um, on my next video is going to be AliExpress. I've got some really cute pumpkins and Halloweens and things like that. So these may be going in one of them because one of them is a big pumpkin shaker and I love it. Uh, 42, which is, let me look it up. Um, okay. This was the wreath. Okay. So here you can see, if you see, this is the older box, the ones up to a point, the new ones are the silver. I, I, I like orange. So that's their color. <laughs> so I think of it. And then, but I do like the white binders better. I got to tell you only because I like all the white stuff. I like white. White is in. If you've gone to Hobby Lobby and seen the Christmas stuff, white is in my friends. So I like white, white bathrooms, white kitchens in this house. I like it all. So this one is the spring wreath. Let's see. We've got our listing here. You have a couple of pretty pictures that I you know, I don't know why I didn't buy this sooner. This one, again, $13.49. This has, so on this side you can see, is part of the wreath, and this looks kind of like a hibiscus. These ones are one, two, three pieces. So you have like a shadow um, cut in and to make it cut out. 
the flower, and these little butterflies. I kind of went a little crazy with that. I will show you that card in just a moment, but look at how pretty these are. So that's the one side. The other side, and this is an edgeable. This is the one I used because um, I thought, oh, that'll be just quicker for right now. It says spring. That really cool looking long banner. And if you look at the stamps that go with that, you can see them here. That these fit in there. It says friends. If friends were flowers, I would pick you. The first blooms of spring always make my heart sing. So you have that, some other little ones. Here's, look, again, the butterfly stamps. And these right here go inside the flower dies. These little splotches will fit inside your, fit inside the flower dies here, if you can see here. So you can actually stamp on, like, a, you know, to make it look more dimensional. So that was it. came with the watercolor cardstock. Um, these are, all, as you can see, A2, 15 sheets of that has let's see a uh, mini of the adhesive we've got i'm not even sure which color is this like, honestly sweet pea so pretty pink and i'm guessing would be watercolor aqua flow wouldn't you think although i'm not 100 percent and this i believe is like their embellishment tool there you go see the little stickies on it isn't that cute so then we've got some pretty uh glitter We've got, I believe, some more pretty embellishment mousse. Yep, look at that pretty pink. Really pretty. And we've got another bottle of our crystal drops. And here, so the old style, if you see, the paper was just in this, which is still fine with me, but, you know, the white one, the, those folders are so nice to be able to keep it that way. And some of them, because now and then, these do get bent. But look at these pretty colors again. Love the coral. We just have some pretty gold here. Oh, I think this is that pink chiffon that I love. Love, 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 love. And they have it in glitter, too. And I think, did I use that? I think that's one of the ones I used in one of the other uh, examples. So I have this. I love this. It's, like, really dimensional. Okay, so <clears throat> let me just slide all that in. And the card I made was real quick. And it's just, I didn't even put the acetate on here because well, I didn't care. I'm like, if I wanted to really be able to stand, stand, you know what I mean? You got to put the acetate on there because it won't stand on its own. But this was just a quick little thank you. Um, the pretty edgeable, so you can see. I just wanted to be able to see it like that. And just some pretty glittery lip ribbon. And here's where the little butterflies, I sort of got carried away. And I just started sticking them on. I'm like, okay, I think that's enough. And you can't see here, but there's this little bit of glitter on the ribbon. And so I used my handy dandy, you know, glitter pen here to do it on the butterflies so you can see it um, if you're in person. So there's that one, which I picked 41. And this is the Sweet Sorbet, $13.50. Oh, so, so cute. Again, these see the old ones, they at least tell you the kit on them. Okay, so 41, Sweet Sorbet makes it easy. These ones are so cute. These are the little, um, they don't show it there, but the little like lollipops or ice pops or whatever. So this one says, you're so sweet. And this is, I love you more than ice cream that can go in here. And these come with, if you can see, the shaker uh, domes, I guess you can call. So you get five of each of those. I, however, wanted to, because once those five are out or, you know, your kit, you don't know how long you're going to have it, but $13.50 for this kit is so, I just, it's ridiculous when they do the vault, you guys, you have to jump on it. And I'm pretty sure they do one right after New Year's, like every year. I could swear I bought things that way. So here you go. You can see this is just on a four by six. I haven't even stamped the inside four by six card. This is the paper that comes with it, but look at, I just, uh. I, I just love it. I wanted to make sure, you know, and this one I didn't use with foam because it's narrow. I just did where you, um, I cut like say six, seven of the, probably six of them of the shape in just white cardstock, layered it on, and there you go. So sometimes that's just easier when it's a skinny rim. I tend to do that a lot because I think it's easier than trying to cut my foam and everything real skinny. I don't know if you have a better trick or technique love to know about it for skinny little skinny pieces for uh the shakers but anyway i just thought and there's that 
pink chiffon and I forget which purple that is but isn't it pretty I love it so anyway so you have the different size dies and you can make your shakers and there's your one you even have like the, the little um, drippy parts you can make little faces here I don't know if you can see that and here on the stamps let me just show you look at the, they have there you go the little face and i saw somebody did it where they did the the front upside down and then they did this i think maybe it was christine it looks like they took a bite out of it with the upside down face how cute is that so you've got your pretty obviously i used some of the paper on there double-sided papers very pretty pastel exactly what it says sweet sorbet we've got a nouveau the hybrid in what color is this is Blue mineral. Sorry, my glasses aren't. Again, ugh, look at how pretty these are. The glacier paste. I don't know what color it is, but it's like a lilac with the sparkle in it. Some yellow embossing powder. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Here we've got vintage drops. Don't know, pale purple there. This is the shimmer powder where you just spritz it on your paper. Um, on the like a watercolor paper and then mist it with water. I generally wet the paper first, but it comes out and it actually, if you look at the back, okay, it looks all purple here, but actually these are the colors. It's like red, blues, purples are all in there. You got to try it. It's so neat. And we've got some pretty sequins and some pretty coral glitter. So there we have that one. And th these just, so you know, I love the color palette. That's why I wanted to do pink and purple, something to pop off this page. Again, clearance from Hobby Lobby, 49 cents um, from a few months back. It's somewhere on one of my videos, but isn't I just think they look so pretty all together. So, very happy with that one. I feel so lucky when I find these deals. They make me really happy, but I feel very fortunate because, you know, it's hard. It's, it's expensive. It's an expensive hobby. I mean... Yeah, okay, my son played ice hockey. Believe me, I know what expensive it is and traveled with that, but this is expensive too. So, number 43 is, let's see, I think this would be, which one? Um, oh, the blue, oh yeah. What, I forget what they call this one, but I just put it down as blue, but it was like for the love of blue or something, I forget what it is. It's something like that. And it's a really, really big sized, um, die the outside on here you can do outside which is so basically it's supposed to be five by seven is what we're looking at yeah and you've got your different nesting layers the different shapes I'll show you real quick here oh, I'm not the most organized today am i okay then you've got these beautiful there's two one or two so you have two different parts to choose from same thing here one or two this is the little heart you have different corners you can put in there. Um, these say, okay, so let me just show you the card I made with this one. And I did it to stand up, freestanding like this. Okay, so, you, so there you go. And just a little bit of dimensional on here to pop up the center section. Again, this is that cobalt blue glitter. Oh, gosh, it looks, it looks so pretty. So again, this will be for my friend. It's from me to you. So here, or the other ones that it took me forever to figure out what they said. So I had to punch them out because I just could not tell from the dies. Just for you. And this one says, with lots of love. So you can see those. With lots of love for me to you. So you have any of those and that's just using that. But I love when the cards are shaped cards like this. I just think people appreciate it and they just seem a little bit more special, I guess. But so you can see this. And this one here, made with love. You have a couple other little here. If you don't want to use the dies for those pretty corners that you can put in there. So you can see them. They also have some stamps. So quite the kit. And here we go. We've got, again, a glitter marker. Arctic Blast. Beautiful. Here we've got another. I'm trying to see which color it is. I don't know. It's one of the, the, the myths. It's just a beautiful blue. We'll go with that. Beautiful blue. We've got Gilding Flakes. Oh, I have been loving them since Crafter's Companion came out with all their um, waiting on the Christmas ones to arrive. Hopefully soon. Loving Gilding Flakes. 
If you haven't had them, even just red tape and that, forget the glue, it, they're fabulous. Came with its cute little tweezers. Look at that super fine point. This is another of the expanding mousse in like a silver frosty color, gorgeous. Look at these, the shimmer on these sequins. Beautiful, and we have, I think these are the dream drops, which always look like kind of pearly. They're really pretty if you haven't tried them. So that is the last of them, my friends. So thanks so much for watching. The next one I'm going to have is the AliExpress. Then I'm going to have the uh, Designer's Choice. So I'll be working on making them this week because I just got those in. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.